Good morning, everybody! I'm here, I'm excited, I got my coffee, but I mean, what else is new? And I have to say, this video was a lot more time consuming to put together than, than I initially expected. I was like, I'll just go through my, uh, my initial collection, like what I already have, and just pick up the least expensive item. But I forgot that in the process of doing so, you kind of have to go through and, and price everything out. I have a lot of numbers floating around in my brain right now. Oh my goodness. I'm here today to share with you guys a new full face tutorial sort of get ready with me video and the inspiration for this video kind of came from some of the other videos that I have done around testing five star rated makeup and also lowest rated makeup and I was like why don't I do all of the cheapest makeup that, that I currently own. This may or may not mean that I'm also planning out the most expensive makeup that I own. Thumbs up if you want to see that one. Also important to point out, not all of these products are the least expensive within their like category of makeup, but that they're the least expensive ones that I currently own. Maybe I'll do like a cheapest makeup online and I'll buy a whole bunch of makeup that are like the cheapest that are currently being sold at that particular place. But as of right now, this is what I currently have in my collection. But I thought this would be a really fun challenge to do to kind of show you guys that there are great makeup products at all price ranges, including the least expensive. Some of these are a dollar, some of them are six dollars. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more of these types of videos. If you're excited about the most expensive makeup that I own video, I will be doing that soon for you guys. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video as well as new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so we're zoomed in, got some tape on the outside of the eyes, and we're gonna go in with the eye look first. I'm gonna start with the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. I actually really like this one. This is one of my favorites. It's in one of my, um, like my everyday makeup drawers. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on that, like what's in my everyday makeup drawers. I don't know. But I like it because it adds a little bit of color. It definitely does lock down any colors you apply on top and it is affordable as well. Now for the shadows, I'm gonna be using a bunch of different products here. One of them is actually new to my collection. This is by e.l.f. It's their Baked Trio Eyeshadows in Brown Bonanza. These are all shimmery shades, so I wanna apply something that's a matte shade to the crease first. So I'm actually gonna go in with my bronzer that I'm gonna be using later. This is also by e.l.f. It is their uh, blush and bronzing powder. This is in uh, St. Lucia. So I'm gonna be using this shade right here and I'm just gonna apply that to the crease and add a little bit of a definition. I haven't used any these shadows before so we'll start with this like dark color down here this is one of these baked um, ones so hopefully it, it actually shows up in my eyes because I haven't had the best success with the baked things from from elf they usually are pretty terrible so fingers crossed oh okay I stand corrected this one's pretty good I'm just applying this um, darkest shade to the outer corner of the eye sort of as a faux winged liner look let's see how this lightest shade is right here this nice like highlighty shade we'll apply that to the lids it's okay it's not my favorite but it's not terrible either I feel like this would show up a lot better if you had a darker skin tone than my own add some more of the bronzer to the um, just to the outer corner, I think. And now on to mascara, and today I'm gonna to be using the Essence Get Big Lashes Mascara. Essence has a ton of really good mascaras at an affordable price range. They're among some of the cheapest ones you can find, at least I, when I was looking on the Ulta website. These are some of the cheapest ones. Obviously also e.l.f. is another good option. I didn't have any e.l.f. ones on hand, so essence it is. I'm gonna go on to the face makeup before I go and do the eyebrows because let's be honest, I'm just gonna get foundation all up in my brows. We're gonna start with primer. This primer was one dollar. One, uno, only one. It's from AOA Studios and I actually did a whole video on um, makeup that was a dollar. Uh, you can go and check that out if you're interested, but I really liked this primer. I got a lot of really good results from it. I liked how it held up um, throughout the day and held up my makeup. Really liked it. Now that we're primed, we're gonna go in with a little bit of color correcting. This is also, again, from AOA Studios. This is their peach color corrector for under the eyes. And this time, I'm not gonna make the same mistake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a little bit. Just a dab. Now for foundation today, I'm gonna to use one from Wet n Wild. This is their Photo Focus um, foundation. I'm going to be using the, uh, I think the Shell Ivory. This is Fair Neutral. And um, I think this is a great foundation, actually. It's one of my favorites, and it is the cheapest one that I own. Even cheaper, actually, than, I looked up an e.l.f. one. It's their foundation serum, and that one is like almost $10 Canadian. And I'm gonna use an e.l.f. Um, foundation brush to kind of blend it all in. This one, I would say, gives good I would say medium level of coverage to the skin. For concealer, we are also using one from One Wild. It is their Photo Focus Concealer. Uh, this is a great concealer. It's probably not my favorite, but like it's not a bad one either. I'm gonna use this brush. This is from uh, ColourPop to sort of 
blend it all into my skin. Now I'm going to set everything with the Essence Color Correcting Mattifying Powder. This is the least expensive powder that I own currently. Um, and I haven't used it in a long, long time, so I actually, I have no idea how good of a, of a powder this is. Um, hopefully it's, hopefully it works. The other least expensive powder that I own is by, um, e.l.f. It's their under eye setting powder, so I'm going to use that for under the eyes. Um, but that would be the only other one that I have that is on the least expensive side within my collection. It's this little guy right here. This is specifically for under the eyes. It is going to give the best finish. I actually really like this one. They had an older version of this one, I feel like, and it was so sparkly and I hated it. But this version, I, I don't know, they must have like reformulated it because this one does not have that same like glitter effect. So that's awesome. For bronzer, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be using this one from e.l.f. This is their duo that they have in St. Lucia. And I'm going to be using this brush. It is by AOA Studios. So again, nice and inexpensive. I think this was also a dollar. Pretty sure everything there is a dollar. I actually like this bronzer. It's like a nice shade. It's, it's not too crazy over the top. It's quite buildable. Look at all these wispies. <laughs> this is what happens whenever I bronze my face. They just go everywhere. Now for blush, I could totally just use the blush that was in this duo, but I wanted to kind of give you guys some more options. And also I found one of, if not the most inexpensive one that was on the Ulta website, which is the Essence Satin Touch Blush. And this is in the shade Satin Coral. Um, so that's the shade I'm gonna use on my skin today. But again, you could totally use the one if you already have it. Now I'm just going to tidy up underneath the eyes. I'm gonna use that bronzer again. And this is a brush from uh, AOA Studios. And I'm just going to add a little bit of definition there. And lastly, we're gonna go in with highlight, and this is a new one to my collection, but it was tied with the one that is my cheapest, which is also by e.l.f., um, and I really like that highlight, so I thought I would try this one, see if it's any different. Doesn't look too much different, but we're gonna try it anyway. This is their Baked Highlighter and Blush Duo. This is in Rose Gold, and so I thought I'd try out this little guy on my face today. First of all, do I need to scrape off a whole bunch. Yes, I do. Such a pretty color. I like it. The only thing I really dislike about these kind of duos is that you have to be really careful and not get any of the blush onto your highlight because that is the one thing you don't, you don't want your highlight to look clowny. But overall, I have to say I really like this highlight. It is nice and um, champagne tone, very neutral. It has a lot of pigmentation, but still kind of like in a nice buildable way. I really like it. Actually, I'm gonna throw a little bit of this into the inner corner of my eyes. Now let's go into the brows finally, and I'm going to be using a mixture of two products. One is a brow pencil. This is the Rimmel Professional Eyebrow Pencil, and this is in the shade Hazel 02, and I'm going to use that with the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Mascara, and we're just going to do the brows as per usual. And then lastly for the lips, we're gonna go in with a product that is a dollar, again from AOA Studios. These liquid lipsticks are amazing. And I thought today I would use a combination of two, so technically it's two dollars. What are we gonna do? Because I didn't wanna go bright pink, but I didn't wanna go this soft kind of gray tone either. So I'm going to combine them and see what happens. I'm gonna apply it to my hand here just cause I don't want it to um, dry too quickly cause obviously these are liquid lipsticks. And I kinda wanna get the color Perfect first. Yeah, that's what I was hoping would happen. A nice like berry tone. I like it. Of course now my fingers are going to be stained until the end of time, but it's fine. Totally worth it. And lastly, we're just going to set everything on the face and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray and we're going to spray this all in. Fan it into place. And here we go. This is the final look using my most inexpensive makeup that I own. I hope you guys like this video and you got some inspiration and found some products that you are excited to test out. I hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day so far. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.